Hey, it's MK, and today I am following a sketch February with Sandy Reversky, who is State Goddess here on YouTube and Scrapping Reflections over on Facebook. I am pulling out my papers from these little kits. I set up these little kits on February 1st to share with you guys how I was going to manage these kits, and I have no idea why I'm going in slow motion pulling those out. I apologize about that. Um, but I think what it is is I just come to the realization that I might not have pulled enough papers for this particular kit because if you look at it I needed one two three four plus photo mats I mean I needed a lot of paper going on here and I only have three pieces of paper plus a background piece um, or two background pieces because I'm making a double page layout so I have my um Pretty Little Studios Ginger Snap Kit. Now this is the leftover pieces from my Kit Conspiracy Kit that we did back in November. And I put these three pieces together with these pictures and with this these embellishments. I mean, I had everything all set up and how I was gonna go um, without needing a sketch. Uh, so this was a brainchild that formed somewhere back in November. I just never got around to doing it. And now I need to figure out what I'm going to be doing to finish off for this particular sketch. So what I did was I grabbed out a small little page kit that I had made back when I was sorting through my scrap box back in January. Um, I put together these three pieces of paper. One is a Kawaii paper, which I'm not really sure exactly what it is. One is a um, P13 paper, and then I can't remember to save the life of me where that wood grain paper came from. I apologize. Um, but I put all three of them together thinking, wow, those would really look good together. So I decided to pair them up with my ledger paper from Pretty Little Studios Ginger Snap. I've got two ledger papers. They are both the exact same, except for one of them has like torn little pieces. Well, it's printed on that looks like it's got some um, book print behind it or, yeah, or inside the torn pieces. Uh, so I think it's going to turn out really super cool how it how it's going to work out. So um, with this uh, P13 paper, I decided I'm going to use it to map my photos. And then I'm also going to use it for the stripes or the strips of half inch paper that are on the... Um, that are in the sketch. I'm also checking to see which side of the paper has uh, some fussy cut things that I can maybe fussy cut out because this is also a, a, a pretty autumn-y um, paper as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut out what was left over from me cutting the strips and the paper mat and that is what I am going to do. So I'm gonna fussy cut those out. There they all are. I think that they're going to match what I've already pulled out in the Pretty Little Studios Ginger Snap stuff beautifully. I think it's just gonna look awesome. I'm also going to take all of these paint swatches and fussy cut them out as well because I really didn't see any other way to add these gorgeous paint swatches without covering most of them up. Like I could have used it as a stripe, but it would have been like super, super wide stripe. And so you would have only seen a little bit of color. So I'm going to use them as paint swatches and see if I can't add them somehow into my layout. When I do a huge project like this, you guys, a lot of planning is involved um, because I have to make super quick decisions. Well, I choose to make super quick decisions because I want to. I believe that wood grain is also Kawaii paper <laughs> now that I'm looking at it. Uh, so this gorgeous stripe. Now the Kawaii paper pack was uh, like, a, like a coffee shop business type um, busy girl type of, of paper on one side and then these gorgeous prints on the other side. And I picked it up as a whole collection um, and I just saw where I made a mistake in, in my cutting, but I'll figure that out later as I go. But I saw it right now. Huh. <laughs> but I don't discover it until later, later. Anyways, um, I picked up this collection because of the coloring in it. This this deep, dark blue um, is just beautiful. I love playing with this, um, with these colors and whatnot. And then, of course, you add the wood grain and it's just beautiful. So here's where I realize I shortchanged myself on one of my blue pieces. Or I'm sorry, on one of my... Um, 
wood grain pieces, but it's okay. I can figure it all out. It, it, it ends up beautiful in the end. I decided that that is going to be a perfect spot for where my paint swatches are going to go. So of course I start off with my blues and purples because they blend really well with this blue striped um, print. And so I was like, oh, that's really cool. But do I need to add in the the warm tones, right? So I picked out the cool tones. Now I'm trying to decide if I need the, you know, like quote unquote need these warm tones. And I'm thinking, I, I think I do. I think I really like the fact that these are all swatchy and whatnot. And it goes with the book print that is on one side of my ledger paper, even though I'm going to cover most of it up. It's okay. So um, here I'm deciding whether or not I need all three of these photos because they are pretty similar. Um, I, I just snapped um, photos without making the workers feel uncomfortable, but this is photos of the cement being poured for my husband's shop that we had put up in 2022. Um, it was a, a super cool gift that is long time needed. Um, my husband is one of those types that makes sure that the family has what they need before his own. And um, uh, this year, I just was calling it quits saying, nope, it's time for you to get your need because we live in an association. And every time that he went to go work on his 57, we'd get a letter in the mail that said, you know, all vehicles need to be registered, yada, 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 blah, 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 all sorts of yucky, icky, l bad newslettering because they want you to have a shop. They want it to be covered 24 seven. They want, they want, they want. It's lots and lots of little things um, to keep our area pretty, I guess, is, is a way to look at it. And so it just kept frustrating um, my husband to a point where he just didn't even want to work on it anymore. So it sat unworked on or, or unfinished uh, for about two years uh, before we decided that, um, you know, enough's enough. We're, we're going to start doing all this planning and getting the shop built. Um, and, and then that way you can have your space and your goodies um, all wrapped up. You know, I mean, I've got my hobbies and my hobbies keep me very, very occupied. Um, and, and I'm happy with the space that uh, has been provided for me. And so now I wanted my husband to have one. So here it is. And I got to stay home and watch it um, being built. It's still a work in progress to this day because there was a couple things that because of the weather and whatnot, we started this project in October of 2022. And um, because of the weather and whatnot, it... Um, we were unable to complete a few things. And so we are slowly, we being my husband and I are slowly finishing them. So that way the workers can, can move on. Um, and, and they didn't have to keep coming around and keep sticking, um, you know, uh, keep having our project hang over them. So we basically just said, no, we'll finish it all. And uh, that's what we've been doing. So, and it's just little things here and there that uh, take a little bit of time. So for my stripes going across the layout, I have decided that I want um, the stripe. I didn't like the stripe just going all the way across and then ending at the title. I wanted it to go all the way across. Um, and then I chose not to do the stripe up and down because I had my super cool... Um, paint swatches. So, and then I put, I had to have a gap in between one of my paint swatches because A, it covered up that gap where I miscut my wood grain and B, I, nobody was going to see the gap behind the photo. So I went ahead and had my, one of my paint swatches go from my right page to my left page. Um, so far I am loving how this is going. I, I really wasn't sure how it was going to look laying all the pieces down until I actually had all the pieces glued down. I wasn't really sure, um, but now that I've got it, now that everything is is making its way, it's like, oh, this is so pretty. And the first thing, the first photo that I took was the first cement truck coming in, and I really do like it. So the thing, the cool part about the cement company is they want their trucks to stick out, and they like people to notice their trucks. And so what they do is they paint. 
a portion of their truck. So whether it's the tumbler that keeps that keeps the cement um, rotating as they're moving down the down the uh, road, or their um, I don't know if that's the that's not the cab of their truck. So I'm not really sure. Is it their cab? I'm not, I don't know, you guys. Um, but this one here, the butter if the butterflies would move, you'd see it. Um, so this one here has the word hope written across it and it's all bright and beautiful and just amazing. And so when it pulled in, um, which this is, <laughs> this is like the third time where we've had cement truck upon cement truck upon cement truck pull into our driveway. Um, our patio took four cement trucks. This um, platform took three cement trucks and it's just our neighbors are always wanting to know what we're going to do next because it always involves a lot of cement. Well, cement is cheap um, in our area. See, the cement is the cheapest way to go as far as pavers and flooring and things like that. And so um, we just always have the cement trucks. Well, anyways, the cement trucks have to come at the break of dawn. And that, of course, you know, I'm, I'm up for that. Um, so when the first cement truck pulled in, I just was like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So on top of our gorgeous cement truck, I had this beautiful sunset in the background. And that is also where, or I'm sorry, it's a sunrise. And that is also where the warm tones of my paint swatches come into play. And so they really make that sunrise pop on that page and then of course the other ones on the other side just really help the rest of the embellishments blend in um, with what I have going on and easy peasy clusters you guys the seriously pretty little studio did all the work for me I, I'm, I'm not lying it, it's just they make it so easy by having these pre-made banners and I just popped it up on the on the layout and bam I, it's a beautiful imagery right there didn't have to do anything with it this one here had a little help from not only pretty little studios but from p13 and then of course the cluster on the other side is um, a, again another mix between P13 and Pretty Little Studio and I just love how they all come together and of course I had to cover up the pink flower that just was not going to be the main focal point on my layout you guys all knew that um, but I do love how the butterflies lead into the warm tones and whatnot and so I just I had a I had a blast playing with this um, with this particular sketch it, it was um, very very great and I'm not sure if I've told you guys but the sketch was from Alley Scraps um, so I don't know if I said that at the beginning I apologize if I don't and if you guys are interested in checking out who else who else is playing along with follow a sketch February I have a link down below I have a couple links down below um, the first link is for the playlist for all of the youtubers playing along the second link I link <laughs> is for the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group. If you guys are not a part of Sandy's community, it's a great place to go and get inspiration. And I just love Sandy. Uh, her personality just pops. Uh, it's just all, she's just an awesome, awesome person. Um, and then the third link is for the album where all the sketches are located. So that way, if you guys want to go and check out the sketches and maybe create some yourself, it's all right there. And I love how she shares all the sketches right off the bat. So that way you can pick and choose which ones you want to play with or, or whatnot um, or play all month long. Um, or you have them for later, later. So it's just super fun. All right, you guys. So that is what I have down below. Um, and that is what I had for today. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. I, I had fun and I'm so super excited with how this layout came together, even though when I first looked at my papers, I had no clue what I was doing. And I'm super glad that I had that, that paper kit handy for me to be able to create with it. Um, and it, and it, you got, I, I don't know. I used it. Yay. Um, so anyways, thanks again. And I'll check you guys all later. Bye.